Now I'll show you how to use Glared. You'll have to add real-time effects into your scene. Now I've got a cycle scene, but it works on EV scenes too. Add your real-time effects and here is a warning. This warning tells you that you have to follow some instructions to make this kind of add-ons work in the properly way. If you need it, you can go to the online docs. Here you will find some instruction about how to set up correctly Blender with this add-on. We can follow these easy steps. Um, I already done them here and I will explain you how you have to, to do this to make this working. This is strictly related to Blender. Um, so for viewing these effects, here are the lights effect produced by Glared. Uh, you have to go into the render viewport shading. You'll have to select the shading and activate camera. If this by default is disabled, you couldn't see any effects here. So you have to activate it so that you will see these effects only when you are in camera view. Then you have to select the camera of your scene. Here I have my camera. If you don't have it selected, you'll have to select it here into the selector to select your camera. And then into the camera, you'll have to go into the viewport display to activate the passport to and to set it on one. Uh, this is related to a Blender limitation now. I'm working with a beta version, maybe that in the official release this problem will be solved, I don't know. Uh, so, for now, uh, we have to select the pass part 2 and to select 1 here. Because in this way, the scene that you're looking at here will be very similar to the scene that you will render. But take a look at what's happening here. Uh, this is the threshold of the light that the add-on is going to see into the scene. So if the light is set up at zero, uh, he couldn't find any light source to work on. If you go up here, uh, it will start finding some light. Maybe that in some scene this isn't enough, so you can activate this light boost that will boost these values, but in this moment this is working well, so we don't have to activate the light boost, or maybe you can activate if you like the result that it will reach. Here is the glow, is the, the glow produced by each light, and uh, this is the intensity. The first value is the intensity. It's really similar to the blue effects that you have in EV. You can change the scale, so this is a uh, big scale, this is little scale. Uh, you can change it as you can change this. You can change the saturation because you can make it white and then you have to turn down the, the value here because it is very powerful. Or you can have it with the, the color that you like. If you put the saturation at 1, you can change this hue, that means that you are uh, changing all the colors of the rainbow here. When you find your preferred color, you can stop. Maybe you like warm color like this for the scene. So um, it's good. I like it. It's too powerful. I will turn down this uh, glow like, he, like, like this value. I like it. Then you can work on the ghosts. The ghosts are the light projected by the light source into the lens of your camera. It's just something artistic. You can change the intensity here too. You can change the blur because if you don't want to blur, you can have a very sharp result. You can change the saturation here too. And you can change the hue too to change the, the dominant color working on all the spectrum of the colors and here we have to turn down these effects too because they are too powerful and then there are the streaks produce these horizontal lines uh, you can change the length they may be very short or they could be very long like this as they get longest, they get a dispersion of light, so they get less visible. In this way, they are brighter. And you can change the saturation 
they are white or they have a color and you can change here the, the, the color too maybe you like this bright color i prefer this color that remember me of what's happening inside the camera lens a lot of times this kind of effects is something like blue and not so visible i prefer just like this and then you'll have a final mix so you can choose to make this effect more visible or less visible this is the final mix related to these effects then you have an aberration uh, this is a value that someone tend to uh, use at higher levels uh, it simulates in higher levels the dispersion of a really little lens this kind of effects uh, seems to be uh, into something very dispersive um, don't abuse with this just take it very very low and you will have something similar to a uh, lens of a camera then here we have the vignette effect that works on the the side of your camera making the darker because of light dispersion then you you have this detail effect don't abuse with this because it's not a real detail created by the render is a, a post-production effect so uh, maybe you can uh, ruin the result of what are you doing so don't abuse and this is paper flange is something that i was not sure to add or not but someone of you asked me of this effect maybe it's not perfect now but it's uh, uh, something that simulates old ccd of old cameras that created this these uh, light leaks of purple colors where there are uh, very strong lights it's not perfect but maybe you like it for some use i left it there uh, this Reduce flickering is something that I made because we're working at animations. Uh, now the refresh of the scene is very, very low because uh, cycle is not so fast. So it's hard to see here the reason because I've added this value. Uh, but maybe uh, that working at animation, you sometimes have this sort of flashes of light. And uh, this is something that could... Uh, be not so beautiful uh, if you turn this up you will reduce this effect and so you have to try this working on your scene and if you are working at animations if you don't work at animations this is not of interest please let us know anything about this new add-on because it's really new and so we need feedback to understand if it works to understand if we can make it better uh, you can uh, store all your preset into presets here so i can save this preset and i can call it uh, warm because this is my warm preset that i want to recall in another scene in another time uh, you can uh, remove it so if you recall warm and you click here you will remove it uh, i've other presets here if, if you see uh, i've made other uh, kind of presets and you can also export your presets and import into another version of blender if you need so thank you very much and i hope you will enjoy this add-on bye bye from beniamino ciao